LiPro Balance Charger IMAX B6. See what we get in the box. I bought this LiPro Balance Charger on Gearbest. I got the parcel without any problems. Links to the device below. Cut out our box with the charger from the bubble wrap buggy. It is time we got it open. What do we get inside? <laughs> Finally, I got it. Cardboard box. Um, what did they load it with inside? Okay, some wiring, decent quality but not spectacular. Our charger and instruction manuals that I do not like reading, but this time I made an exception. And this is my first proper balance charger for the LiPos, so I'm gonna read it. I found it a bit complicated, but let's have a look at the items from the box. So these are the wires that you're getting with your charger. They are decent quality, but not top quality. You can clearly see that by having a look at the connectors. Would be nicer if they were top quality. You have to remember that it was not an expensive charger. Have a closer look at the connectors so you can judge it on your own. Time we had a look at our piece de resistance, LiPo balance charger. Seems to be solid metal casing with monochrome LCD display and four plastic control buttons. Casing made well, so I have no comments in this very matter. Connector sockets, again, decent but not top quality, probably HDPE. They will do the job no problem. These are the cosmetics of the sockets, but do not mind me talking about that again and temperature sensor sign on your right. As you can notice, device rests on four rubber legs. Please pay attention to all the ribbing on sides of the device. These are the radiators. And ventilation slits on almost each and every side of the device. Well, time to get the device running. Unfortunately, this is where I encountered the first problem. Device did not have designated power supply with it in the box. But it is good for the environment. As I managed to find one from my old Wi-Fi router that does the job pretty well. So having the problem sorted, let's find some lipos and let's get the device started for the first time. I told you before that I would have to read the manual to charge the battery in a safe and appropriate manner, but it turns out it is not difficult at all. Get the device started, read the specification of your battery, choose the right program and let the device do its job. So it is not difficult at all word that the device does make some loud beeping noises when buttons are pressed, but you'll get used to it. As I showed you before, you will have a number of wires and cables for plugging different type of batteries and a battery or a power supply, so you'll be able to use it on the way or in remote locations. Please do not charge batteries the way I do, just get proper connectors to charge your LiPos. The most important part is read the manual, as the device is capable of charging a wide variety of batteries, so you have to be aware of the differences between them and specification of the batteries, as lithium batteries can go badly on fire, so read the manual and do it the right way. Before getting this device, simply educate yourself in the field of batteries, chargers and batteries themselves, so you'll be safe and sound while developing your projects. I'm very happy with the charger and I will use it for my future RC projects and more. If you want to get one, just check out the affiliated links below. I just said that operation of the device is not difficult and it is true. The tricky part is to know what and how. Before using balance chargers, read and learn about the different types of batteries and chargers, about balance charging, about the discharging, about storage charging. The big disadvantage of lithium batteries is their flammability. If used in inappropriate manner, so stay safe, do not try to operate batteries or chargers without reading the manuals, like myself, and by no means do not connect them as I did. You were warned. As you can see, I'm extremely happy with my uh, balance charger and hopefully I'm gonna use it for years now. I have to do loads of readings about the uh, LiPo batteries, they can get really, really on fire very hard so I highly recommend you reading loads about them there's a very good article that I'm gonna leave a link below so you can do the reading yourself I got a controller that I'm gonna review in a couple of days maybe weeks uh, I got a first RC model that I'm gonna build but let's not talk about it um, yet I'm gonna use the motors that I already got a couple of years ago I got some propellers as well I don't know whether, I, whether I'm getting a boat a plane or a car but I'm gonna get something interesting anyways. So, the idea is, read about the life of batteries, and apart from that, just 
stay safe and watch some other of my videos. One here, one here, one here and click my face to subscribe here. Bye bye!